guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lady Falshadow. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video. I've seen so many girls do this over the years and I know it's kind of like an older trend that was going on, but I don't think that I ever did one on my channel that I recall. And also today I'm not wearing any hair extensions or a wig or anything. This is my real hair. What I do have planned is obviously the what's in my bag video, but also I'm not really a big bag person anyways, so I only have like five or six bags I think all together. So I figured that I would kind of make this a like my bag collection slash what's in my bag video. So basically over here I have my main backpack. I love backpacks way more than purses. I've always been like that. So it's kind of like a mini one and this is a World of Warcraft Sylvanas Windrunner backpack that I got maybe about a year ago. Uh, but basically it's kind of funny. I don't use bags all the time because most of the time I'm just running out to the store with my husband real quick and I don't really need anything other than my phone. So what I ended up doing is kind of putting stuff into my bag that I would typically like to have in my bag if I were actually using a bag even though I don't all the time. So I kind of staged it in terms of what's in here. It's not completely natural because I don't carry a bag anyways. So I'm not going to show you what's inside here yet because I do quickly want to show you the rest of my bags and then we'll get into actually going through what's inside of it. So I just have four bags over here that I wanted to show you guys. Um, they're not they're not like super exciting or anything, but I just figured I'll probably never do a video about bags again, so I may as well just include it in this themed video. So this is my first bag that I have. It is a purse. It's kind of like a goth purse. It has skulls on it and all these cool little uh castle-y bead dangle things really really cute i really love this bag but i feel so awkward carrying a purse like having it on my shoulder and carrying it around like i feel like other girls can wear purses and look good but it just makes me feel awkward and i think the reason why i feel awkward is because it makes me feel like a grown woman or something and i just don't like it so i just gravitate towards backpacks but it is really cute i'll sometimes try it on with an outfit and be like oh i like it but then if i go out the door with it on i'm like this is not okay it's very weird so so i pretty much never ever use it but so in the back it has a little zipper pouch and you have your main pouch as well it's just kind of normal on the inside. There's like a little side zipper pocket. Oh my gosh, I have something. I have a makeup brush. I don't even know why that's in there. I haven't used this in years, but okay. Random makeup brush. I guess that this will be fun because we'll be kind of going through them. And then it just has some little pouches in the side there too. But yeah, um, I don't even know if you can get this anymore. If I can somehow find it, I will link it down below. But I think I literally got this thing like 10 years ago. And I guess I even have this little kitty keychain on it, which... I got from um, Spirit Halloween a few years ago, so it just has a little button and it meows and lights up. <laughs> it's really loud. And then my second one is a Killstar little mini backpack thing. I love this. This was my first Killstar bag that I ever got. I actually ordered one of the other ones that I'm going to show you guys I got with this one as well. Um, so this is super cute. It has this kind of leather um, top part here with studs on it. And it says Killstar. And then it also has little magnets to kind of snap it shut. But it's kind of hard to, you have to like specifically, because all the fur and stuff is in the way, um, you have to kind of like find them. And it's just kind of annoying, so I usually don't even bother snapping it closed or anything. And then you just kind of have your main section here, and it's kind of like a drawstring bag where you can tighten this up to close it. Um, it has a little pouch here. And, oh, I have a pen, <laughs> randomly. Um, and then there's nothing, oh, oh my gosh. Oh shit. <laughs> and I guess that there's some money in here, $2, randomly, okay, cool. That is awesome. Um, I just like finding little gifts and stuff, but yeah, it's mostly just a big section in the bottom there. There's no like front or back pocket, so it's just the one main one and that tiny zipper one. I wear this one pretty frequently too. I'll either wear my Sylvanas bag or this one. Um, but yeah, here is the backpack on. I really, really like it. I just love the look of backpacks, like having the straps and stuff, and they're just so easy to carry, and I think they look like really aesthetic on and all that stuff. Well, moving on, the third bag that I have is this really cute uh, yin and yang cat killstar bag that I got at the same time as that last one. Um, so this one, again, is a purse, so I don't really wear it that much but I wish that I did because this bag is so cute but I just I can't get over feeling awkward wearing a purse. 
So um, this one you can just kind of open all the way. You just have your one main section and oh my god, another goodie. Um, this is, oh my gosh, this is a strap that goes to one of my Killstar bras. You're supposed to like, it goes around your neck and this goes down and connects to the bra. And I literally have no idea why that was in there. <laughs> I have no idea. So, um, so it's good that we're going through these. You just have your one main slot and then a little section here and nothing is in there. And yeah, really, really cute. I feel like I might just need to start convincing myself to wear purses because this is so good. It's so cute and it even matches with my shirt that I have on. See this cat? It's a perfect match. This is the fourth bag I have. This one isn't even really my style. It's a bit too like girly and flashy, but I've had it since I was like 15 or something. I think I got it from um, Ardeen's, I believe, in Canada. So yeah, it's just one of those bags where it has the little sequins that you can kind of change direction on. I have a little pom-pom on it and there's a little front section with nothing in it. And then you just kind of have your one main section, a little zipper, and two little front pockets as well. So nothing exciting in this one. And again, not really my style either, but I would still gravitate towards this sooner than I would a purse. Um, so there is that backpack on. I feel like this is the kind of bag that you'd see someone wear to like a festival or something maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, uh, anyways, those were all of my bags. I just felt like I would throw those in there real quick and I made two dollars in the process randomly. Also, I have to say US money is so weird. Um, a lot of you know I'm from Canada and I grew up there and I lived there my whole entire life until recently I moved here to be with my now husband and I think the money is so weird like you guys have one dollar bills but in Canada we have I actually so <laughs> I literally went and found one because I knew that I had one that I kept because I found it in my wallet so in the US you guys have one dollar bills and in Canada we have loonies which this is one dollar and then we also have toonies which is two dollars and uh so what that basically means is that our smallest bill that we have in Canada is a five dollar bill and I feel like it's so much better because whenever I have a bunch of like one dollar bills in my wallet I feel like I have a lot more money than I do because it looks like you have so many bills but then you look and you're like oh I just have seven dollars you were looking in your wallet as a Canadian if you had seven bills you would know that you at minimum have seven five dollar bills you know so that's a little weird i'm not really a huge fan loonies <laughs> loonies and toonies are the way to go anyways now for the main part of the video which is the what's in my bag portion so like i was saying i kind of did put my bag together but it is genuinely stuff that i would carry with me for the most part in my bag. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this front section here, which is where I have put my wallet. So, I have had this wallet for a long time. I got this from Hot Topic like years ago. It's a ghost town wallet. I don't know if you guys have heard of that band. And the girl that's on it is actually inspired by Lita because the, um, Oh God, I forget his name. I think that his Instagram is I am a machinist, I believe. Um, I'll put it down below if I can find it. But I guess that I think that Lita knew his wife, so she was kind of like a friend of the band or something. Um, and I think that this picture was inspired by her. Loved it. I've had it for so long. It's like kind of falling apart. The design's like peeling off. There's nothing too exciting in my wallet. I just have a few cards, have a little bit of cash in here, and then my change and stuff. That is all that I had in that little front section and now we're gonna go over to this side um, which okay yes I kind of remember what was in here so this was actually left in here um, I had these from when I went on the plane when I was on my way here from Canada so I have some little disposable uh, sanitizer pouches and little wipe down things if you wanted to wipe down like the side of your seat or whatever on the airplane so those were just in there so I figured I'd leave them in here for the video and then also in this pouch I have a crystal and the reason why it's actually funny because when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to kind of put in my bag I was like should I put like a crystal in there so I could like seem all hardcore and stuff. I was like, that's not really realistic for me. I'm not actually gonna carry around a crystal. But when I was kind of going through my bag to see all what was in it, this was just already there because I had it with me when I went to the Renaissance Fair a few months ago and it was in this bag. So conveniently, I just happened to have a crystal in here even though I was kind of joking about putting one in there just to seem hardcore. 
to be honest, it's probably a good idea to have a crystal so you can get some good love energy or whatever you need at the time. So that's everything that was in my little side pouch. And now going over to this side, I put in my headphones. Uh, these are little purple headphones, earbuds, whatever you want to call them and I'm probably gonna tangle them, but I think it's really good to always have those with you. Um, I used to always have my earbuds with me because I would walk to work a lot, so if I ever left the house without them, I would be in such a panic because I need to listen to my music while I'm walking. And also if I'm ever going like on a plane or anything like that, I would love to have my earbuds. So now we've done all of the front pouches and now we're gonna go inside to the main section. Okay, so um, starting with, uh, there's a little pouch in here and I put a few things. Uh, that might make boys uncomfortable, but um, but thankfully most of my viewers for this type of content is females. So I decided to throw in, hold on, I know I have one more. I decided to put in some tampons and some little panty liners because you never know when you might need them and it would suck if you didn't have them. Um, and then I also, in this little pouch, I have my uh, lip balm. This is just one of those EOS lip balms or EOS, however you say it. Uh, this is one of like the stick ones and I just think it tastes so good. I love these lip balms so much. And then also I have my purple lipstick which is by NYX and this is the shade Sway and I wear this on my lips all the time. To be honest this is actually one of my main things that I do bring with me pretty much anywhere I go. Um, whether I'm carrying a bag or not, if I'm like going out to eat or if we're just going to kind of be shopping for the day, I always have my lipstick with me because it might fade throughout the day or if we're eating or anything like that. Purple lipstick is one of my main go-tos and then I also have a pen which is purple because I love purple and you never know when you need to write something down and you're desperate for a pen. Also threw in some little um, floss sticks in case you ever need them. This isn't probably something that I would normally bother to throw in here, but I just kind of figured I'd throw it in with like the tampons and panty liner things, um, just in terms of like in an emergency, if you had something stuck in your teeth, you might want to take that out. That was in our little zipper section right here, and that's the only little pocket that is on the inside here. I'm gonna put this up here so you guys can kind of visually see what's going on. So the next thing that I put in is a book and usually the only kind of books that I would ever read is like World of Warcraft books. One of my goals for 2022 was to start reading so um, so this is the book that I am actively reading so I figured that I'd throw that in there. This is called The Power of Now and I'm only on page 33 um, so I actually just started reading this the other night and so far it's really really good and also my husband has read it and he liked it. And there's a lot of really good reviews. So even though I'm not much of a reader, if I was ever um, gonna be on a long car ride or on a plane or just anywhere where I might be waiting, it's good to have a book with you. So other than my book, the next thing that I have in my bag, if it wants to stay there, is a face mask. So this is my um, Forsaken Crest face mask that I got off of Etsy from a shop called Six Feet Back Mass. I don't know, I don't really know if she's still selling or not. I haven't looked at her page in a while, but I'll link it down below um, if she is. Um, she she makes a bunch of World of Warcraft masks and I think I ended up buying like six of them from her or something and I even won a giveaway for one of them. So, so yeah, I have a ton of these masks with different icons on them and stuff, but this one is my favorite. I think it's so cool and, and all of my masks that I have from her have been my go-to's and they got me through working full-time retail for like two years during the pandemic. So really really love these and it's definitely good to have a mask with you during the pandemic. Um, and then the next thing that I have in here is a hairbrush. Um, so I'm obsessed with brushing my hair especially when I wear hair extensions which I am not right now but if you own hair extensions or wear them you know that you need to brush your hair like all the time so even just in general without hair extensions it's good too in case you just need to brush out your hair um this is a wet brush they work really really well they've been one of my favorite brushes that i've found i think that they're called wet brush because i think that they're good for like brushing through your hair when it's wet because it's very fragile in that state but even still i usually try to avoid brushing my hair when it's wet uh, but if you're looking for a good hairbrush i would highly recommend uh, the wet brushes and they come in a lot of really fun colors too and I think that there is one last thing in here um, this one's kind of a silly one but I did just think it would be fun so I put my Frostmourne keychain in here um, kind of just as like if I ever needed a weapon I just thought that it was kind of iconic to have Frostmourne um, 
I don't really know how strong it would be, but I do feel like if someone were to try to kidnap me and if they didn't know that I had this, I could probably do some damage. So yeah, <laughs> so yeah, just a little knife for safety. Um, and that is everything that I have in my bag. I know it probably wasn't super, super exciting, but I did my best to make it as realistic as possible. Um, I guess typically I might have some other stuff in there, like maybe mints or gum or a little thing of hand lotion or hand sanitizer and all that stuff. But, uh, but to be honest, I just didn't have any of that stuff on me at the moment. This was the best that I could do. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my video. Let me know if there's anything that we have in common that we carry in our bags. And do you have any suggestions of other things that I should put in here? And if you have any video suggestions, I would love to hear them. So again, thank you guys so much for watching my video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys!